Hello and welcome. Today we shall be taking a look at multinational asset manager company Schroders PLC. The company has a market capital of £6.11 billion and is currently ranked 73rd in the UK FTSE 100 index. In the financial year to December 2017, Schroders had a turnover of £2.51 billion and an operating profit before tax of £760 million, which gave it a margin of 30.2%. It currently pays an annual dividend yield of 4.2%, which is paid semi-annually in September and May. This dividend is covered twice by the earnings per share. The company was founded in 1804 when Johann Henrik Schroeder became a partner in the London-based firm of his brother. The Schroeder family, through trustee companies, individual ownership and charities, control 47.93% of the company's ordinary shares. In 1959, Schroders became a quoted public company listed on the London Stock Exchange. Peter Harrison rejoined Schroders in March 2013 and was appointed Group Chief Executive in April 2016. Schroders is one of the largest and longest serving wealth management businesses in the UK, employing over 4,900 people across six continents. Active global investment management for institutions, intermediaries and individuals. Schroders is a world-class asset manager with 41 investment teams operating from 30 countries across Europe, the Americas, Asia and the Middle East. The geographical distribution of assets under management is UK 41%, Asia Pacific 23%, Europe, Middle East and Africa 22% and the Americas 14%. For the previous four years, Schroders has had a consistent revenue of between one9 and £2.5 billion, pounds, and an operating profit margin ranging from 27% to 30.3%, which gave it an average of 28.7%. Although the revenue had increased during the first half of 2018 compared to 2017, the forecast for 2018 year-end is a fall in revenue to around £2.1 billion, pounds, with a margin of 36%. With generated earnings for the previous four years of between 166.8 pence and 226.9 pence per share, the dividend has always been covered by at least 1.8 times the earnings per share. Although the earnings per share had increased during the first half of 2018 compared to 2017, it is expected to fall by 9% by 2018 year-end. The share price standard deviation for the past 12 months was 478 compared to 310 for the FTSE 100. The current share price is 31% above the 52-week intraday low. The half-year report on the 26th of July stated that net income before exceptional items was up 11%, profit before tax and exceptional items was up 10%, assets under management and administration was at £449.4 billion, and net inflows was £1.2 billion. It reported industry headwinds, but with a diversified business model, it can deliver growth through the market cycle. The third quarter update on the 15th of October, assets under manager and administration stood at £453 billion. On the 23rd of October, it announced the strategic partnership with Lloyds Banking Group. Lloyds, who will own 50.1% of the joint venture, have a significant client base, multi-channel distribution and digital capabilities. The partnership will continue Schroeder's expansion into the strategically important UK wealth management market. Schroeder's will also be appointed as the active investment manager of around £80 billion of Scottish widows, Lloyd's insurance and wealth-related assets. Even with the rise in popularity of passive funds, there will always be a need for active wealth management services in the UK. Asset managers, like Schroeder's, always tend to be geared to the wider stock market. However, as seen in the graph, the Schroeder's share price has fallen further than a sample of the world indices. After recent share price declines, the PER is now 12, compared to the FTSE 100 average of 11.4. The fall in the share price also reflects in the current dividend yield of 4.2%, compared to the FTSE 100 average of 4.62%, and it is covered twice by earnings. For these reasons, I have given Schroders an overall rating of 4.8 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please leave comments below. And also like and subscribe for further analysis 
of UK company businesses.